excellent stuff. Good evening. If you've just joined us, welcome on YouTube. Welcome on LinkedIn. Welcome on Twitch. And of course, welcome on Facebook. So lovely to have you with us. And a big warm welcome to our beautiful TikTokers who we've actually seen quite recently. And now you're back with us as well. So it's win-win. It's joy all round. Scotty McClue with a nine o'clock pop-up phone in just for you across the internet. Now you decide how much you want to talk. You decide how much you want to join us. Always lovely to have you with us. And we'll just make sure that everything is set up properly for you. Fantastic stuff. And there's our first caller of the night. How amazing is that dinky do? Lovely to have you with us. Oops, don't know what's going on here. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in, dinky do. Thank you, Scotty. Scar Glenn, how clever are you? You're spot on tonight. Glenn, you're first on tonight, la. And uh, I've just done a TikTok live. I've done a live Twitch to tell everybody to come and join us and follow us on Twitch, sure Scotty so. underscore McClue. And uh, here you are, first on the phone in. Nice one. Hey? Um, I was doing my research on Malcolm Edmund, Scott. He's from Cheshire. Yes. It's um, Manchester End, isn't it? Manchester End, absolutely. Yes, Just indeed. The, uh, like you said, he did some theatre in uh, Scarborough. Yes, absolutely. It was uh, it was a director, so so he's originally yeah. a Hebden man, is that right? No, he's, sorry, he's uh, originally a Manchester, Manchester. man. Yes, Manchester, Chester, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, and on. then uh, over to uh, to do some work at the theatre at Scarborough. Yeah, definitely. He's, um, I'm a big fan of his anyway. Fantastic, absolutely, Glenn. All these wonderful people. We've had so many great actors over the piece, you know. I mean, look at Bill Owen. Uh, uh, Bill Owen. I mean, do you know, I remember a lovely story, and it was Bill Owen's family that told it, I think. They were oh, sitting yeah. with him one night watching a movie, and they said, this oh, is yeah. a great movie, this, you know, and then suddenly Bill goes, hang on a minute, I think I'm in this. A lot of those, a lot of these actors obviously started off as childhood actors, didn't they? Started off as? As child actors. Yes, yes, a lot of child actors. And I'll tell you, another one I saw recently on social media was Sam Kidd. Do you remember Sam? Oh, Tremendous. I think I remember him, yeah. Yep, and his son's on social media putting stuff about his dad. His dad was a great actor. And there was a, a picture of him and William Hartnell. And they oh, yeah, were yeah, in uh, William Hartnell, Bill Hartnell. And they were in... Um, the story, the Yangtze incident, the story about the HMS Amethyst stuck up right. the Yangtze River. And um, Peter Salas. Yeah, Peter Salas, what? another great guy. Yes. And also Frank Thornton that played Captain Peacock in Are You Being right. Served? And he was in uh, Last at Summer Wine. The one who always was chasing after uh, his son, the dead collector. Christopher Benner, Christopher Benny, I think they called him. All right, I can't, I can't remember all the details, but it was just great stuff. Yeah. And uh, and I had a chat to the one that played uh, the lady that uh, that Howard was always chasing. Oh well, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. she's fantastic, and uh, also Barry, the son-in-law. Yeah. And they were at the That's chuck good. wagon. They were filming, and I said, "Can I just say thanks for all pleasure you brought us?" You know. Yeah. Like I said, there's, there's a lot that have crossed the border in the until where uh, until last night some more wine. There's a, there's a massive cast. Oh, a huge massive cast! Culture. And of course, I think also typical uh, South Yorkshire people just adored the scenery, you know, round Holmfirth and all that. No, oh, yeah, definitely. And it I is mean, absolutely stunning. I used to drive it morning, noon, and night. You know, I mean, very often I'd finish in Sheffield on a Thursday night and drive to Scotland. Yeah. You know, you and I would be passing, worlds. and I passed, what I can tell you, Glenn, I passed all the ITV transmitters. So I would, yeah. uh, you know, Ilkley Moor, oh, yep, and oh, then God, over God, to God, Winter God. Hill, Granada, yeah. and then up yeah. to Colbeck, Border Television, then I'd see Black Hill from Scottish Television. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Beautiful. And I don't know, I mean, see, it, see at night, Glenn, there's something that beckons me about transmitters. 
And I think maybe yeah. this is one of the reasons I work in the media because I just oh, yeah. love the concept of getting out there, you know. But you see, you see the what you're saying the sights, are you? But you're seeing the sights, and I mean, I was part of the early crowd that wished the nation good night and God bless, you know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with the national anthem and all that. We used to put on national anthem. Do you think we should still do that? I think I think that'd be a good tone, actually. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to put that out as a subject. Should we I'm have glad. the national anthem? But the television stations don't close down the same, you see. Remember test card? But should test card, yeah. Do you remember um, interlude? Yeah. Do you remember Potter's Wheel? I do, yeah. <laughs> did you yeah, ever I see, was... as a kiddie, did you ever see Watch with Mother? I've, I caught up with him in the 90s, you know, on VHS. Yeah. Andy Pandy and all that. And, Andy uh, Pandy. Well, I'll tell you. Tops. I'll tell you how it went. It was all called Watch with Mother. The television. Yeah. There was only BBC television. That was it. There was none of your BBC Two around. So it would start. Or BBC television would open up at lunchtime, and I think yeah. you got a lunchtime news, and then it was right. Watch with Mother. Yeah. And uh, Watch with Mother. Yeah. On a Monday, you had Picture Book. Because it was yeah. very basic television. Then on a Definitely. Tuesday, you had Andy Pandy and Libby Lou and Teddy. Yeah. Then on a Wednesday, it was Bill and Ben, Flower Pop Men. Whoop to right. pop, schlub dub dub. And then. Oh, uh, that's it. And then, uh, no, Thursday were Ragtag and Bobtail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, three little animals. I think one was that. Was there a rabbit and. Uh, like a mule kind of thing. No, no, that was Muffin the Mule. Oh, Muffin the Mule. Sorry. Yeah, that yeah. was... Now, see the lady that did Muffin, Muffin the Mule? That was yeah. Annette um, Mills. Oh, yeah. And she was the sister of Sir John Mills, you know, the great actor. Brilliant, yeah. Yeah. So, she was, so that was Annette Mills with Muffin the Mule. And then... Uh, but you didn't have... That wasn't part of Watch with Mother. That was earlier. Yeah. That was in, uh, I think, 1950s, 55. Was that before Watch with Mother then? Yeah. And watch your mother Thursday, ragtag and bobtail. Friday, your old friends, the wooden tops. Yeah, brilliant. With Babby and that. Yeah, there was Babby and uh, and Sam the gardener. And and um, and, um, and sister, the older brother and sister. Yeah, the older brother and sister and Spotty Dog. Yeah. Was there a sister brilliant. and two twins? Yeah, they were. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then Spotty Dog and Sam that helped Daddy in the garden. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just archives. You know, you, you, even if you weren't born in them days, you, you can just admire it for what it were, can't you? Yeah, you can still see it on YouTube and stuff like that. You know, it's you fantastic. Can. I was watching some of your. I was listening to some of your calls earlier. You now, from I was in from past uh, callings, phonings from. All oh, right. Days. You had some right screams with some of these guys. Some YouTube. Of these. <laughs> oh, absolutely brilliant, Mister Martin. The other one, this uh, the man who couldn't stop laughing all the time. We and oh, you what was he like? Uh, Rob from Southport. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and it, you were his stitches. Have you, have you come to the point here? And all of these like, <laughs> you were like, oh my god, you, Glenn, you, I, you didn't, guy, you yeah. didn't hear this, and I don't think it, Hallam, but I've got to tell you a beauty, and it just yeah. was by accident. This old lad rings one night, right? X minor. So I'm, like, giving him a bit of the wind-up, you know, and said, oh, you'll be raking it in these days with white knuckle finger and all that, you see? Yeah. And he goes, no, no, I don't get out, Scotty, I don't get out. I said, hang on, are you serious? I said, you don't get a pension, you should have a pension. No, I don't get out, I don't get out, lad. I said, well, wait a minute, hang on. I says, I'll give you a number to ring, tell them you've been talking to Scotty McClue, just a bit of chat, you know. Yeah. I said, tell them you've been talking to Scotty McClue off Century Radio. I said, and that you, you, you know, you'd like to discuss your pension. Oh no, they won't. No, just do what I'm telling thee. So anyway, it comes on next day, Glenn. He yeah. goes, "E, I don't know where to start." I says, "What, what, what do you want, Tom, or whatever it was?" You see, he goes, um, yeah. "No, you, 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 I can't, I can't thank you." I said, "Thank me for what?" I said, "You don't have to thank me." He'd gone on to pension line, the old miners helpline at the time. Yeah. They'd given him £140 a week back dated for three months. Nice one. 
So he was right over at Moon, you know, and but I couldn't get him off phone. He would phone every night. He I don't know how to thank them. I mean, I, I love that one, though, when uh, that woman was going on about something and you would say, you kept on going like this. Oh, I just fell asleep on him. This woman, she was just going like this. She was just whispering on about all sorts of nonsense. And he oh, was like, just I, fell asleep. I, I, I just fell asleep for a few, a few hours, a couple of hours. How long have I been out, everybody? <laughs> There's loads of, oh, there's a lot on YouTube, though, Scotty, you've got... Listen, there's an absolute treasury on there, Glenn, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It probably yeah, won't be fully appreciated till I'm no longer here, you know. The, the Mr. Martin one, we're classic. Mr. Martin's a beauty. And Susie? Yeah, Susie Poozie, yeah. Susie Poozie, very woozy. The, the second one, the best one, I think. You cut off, you cut off and you've had it. Oh, well, I've had it, love. It is. Can I speak to your superior? You put me through superior. to your superior. There's no superior, love. Canteen shuts at 10. I'm I've not got, talking I've about a duty. canteen. I've got duty officer and all that. You're going to be old over the coals. Officer and stri officer with stripes. Yeah, stars and stripes. Oh, and stuff. I just, like I said, I, I can't reiterate enough. I'd love some of them old callers to come back on. Well, they might well do, you see, once they get a hang of this, actually. People are a little bit shy at first, and then yeah. once they realise they can come on, they'll come on. Yeah, definitely. And, yet, Glenn, we've also got to get it out there. I mean, you've got to remember we're, we're a couple of weeks old at most. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You, you know, everybody's not going to find it. Rome wasn't built in a day. You see, the problem you've got exactly. with a phone-in like this, phone-in's cracking... But there's so much media out there. They're watching the tellies. They're listening to radios. The kids have got their own music. They're getting all that, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, and and yeah. then they don't even know this exists. Or they go, yeah. oh, if I'd known about that, I'd have loved that. Whereas yeah. in those days, radio, everybody were listening to radio one. anyway. That went number one. They went as many channels as they are Well, now, you look that? when you were brought up, Hallam FM, Radio Hallam. Magic. Massive. Magic radio. Massive. Is that Red, Red Rose? Red Rose Radio, Lancashire. Yeah, Nation, Nation in Scotland. Nation, Nation in Scotland. Scotland. Huge, huge radio stations. Do you see what I mean? So people know yeah. they're out there. You can get them in the car. Everything, everything's linked to you, Scotty, isn't it? You know, when it comes back, you know, I've always said whoever's got my clues got market. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're a good, Scotty, you're a good entertainer, to be honest. Well, I don't know about that, but people seem to like what no. we do. Don't you, th don't you think so? Well, people like what we do. The, contra the controversial stuff back in there. Where oh. you were, you were... Well, we're going to do a bit more che of it, I'll tell you that, Glenn. Che cheeky chappy back in there. With, Very cheeky with chappy. With gloves and glasses on. And Somebody well, said to me one day, I remember Yorkshire, they said, is that controversial, lad, off radio? He says, ah, yeah, it is a very, very controversial. I, I think you've mellowed the... Well, of course you have to. Yeah, I think you've mellowed since back in the 90s anyway, definitely. Well, you've got to remember, I mean, I've been doing this for 30 years. Yeah. Do you know? Anyway, I better dash that or they'll all be well, doing the they'll, nut. They'll, they'll, they'll be winking where they We'll only get four calls on in the night. <laughs> I'll see they love. Thank you, Dickie Doe, Sky. Love ya. Dickie Doe, love ya. There we are. Ooh. That's it. That's our Glenn from South Yorkshire. On for a bit of chit chat. Now, what have we got here on the TikTok? I liked Bill, one of the three who liked the other lady. Can't remember her name. Little Weed Stuart. Yes. Uh, so, what happened? Hamza, we had to go to another place. Uh, Rainbow and Pipkins, you're taking me back to your childhood. You cut me off our last convo on Scott FM. I was going to say, you're getting a slap, you're upstart. You're live on Scottish phone in, who's that? It's unknown. Unknown, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It's just been a while, so I thought I'd phone in, see how the phone in's been going on. It's been too long. The phone in is outstanding. I am so chuffed. We've been going a fortnight. Huge yeah. radio stations can't get anybody to call them. And everybody's calling uh, Scotty McClue on the internet. Well, whoever has McClue has the market. Whoever has McClue has the market. Yeah, and everyone on TikTok and Twitch, 
and all the platforms have you, so the radio just can't get hold of you. You're the, that good over on here. The radio but can't get hold of Can I let you into a little secret? It. Can I let you into oh, a secret? Because I know what you journalists are like. I know I can trust you. Okay, go on. Two offers to go back on the radio since we started doing this. Oh. What about that then? That's good. It's very, very good news. But I'm in two minds because I think a little bit like when they were working out how to go through the sound barrier. And remember, they were losing pilots and aircraft in crashes. Uh -huh. And then the guy suddenly put the controls the opposite way to what you'd think, and he pulled out of the dive. <laughs> Oh, Scotty, well, I'm very glad that the phone-in's going well, and um, have you had you any see? gaffes? And the reason I'm telling you that story is I sometimes think, are we better just now we've started just building this and building? Yes, the sooner you build, the sooner you can get the merch out and you can have TikTok famous. You see? But you see, your so, problem yeah. with communications people, they're thinking he's not having that to himself, that Scotty McClue phone-in, we want that. Yeah, so I see what you mean, Scotty, and it's been a success from the very start, from the rehearsals to now. From the very, very, very first proud. night we went on, good people like yourself coming and joining us. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's these like-minded, intelligent people. All intelligent. Join, and, don't, and don't go down the swanee because we send everyone else who are trolls down the swanee because it's what they deserve. If you don't have any intelligence, if you are there to troll... No one trolls Scotty and gets away with it. You can try, but it won't happen. It won't happen. Can I just interrupt you a second there, unknown? We've got last of the summer wine used to be on here in New Zealand back in the day. So I've got Stuart on TikTok from New Zealand. Love your hat, says Gary. Cheesecake or carrot cake, both. Rainbow and Pipkins. You're taking me back to my childhood. I liked um, all that. Yes, Parsley the Lion. You cut me off, so you're getting a slap, McClue. Scotty boy, Celtic Rangers, go and see them both play, Sean. This man loves himself. Look at the portraits behind him. He only gives himself Chappie. Shall we send Chappie down the swanee? No, we leave down him. Down the swanee. Chappie, these portraits were presents. So don't start chicking up. Chappie's judging people like himself. He knows he's only oh. interested in himself. There you go, Chappie, one, two, three. There we are. Yellow, black, we'll send you down the swanee. I'm just going to send them down the swanee. Bear with me. Just going to send these guys down the swanee. Lovely. Oh, down the swanee. There it goes. One away. And we'll send the other away in a minute. There we are. Keep being your own boss, Scotty. Few people needing put down the swanee, Scotty boy, says Ryan. Uh, you can control your content, Stuart. You're quite right. So there we are. We can control our content. Now then, unknown, sorry to interrupt you there. I just had to do no a bit problem. of housekeeping. No, I understand that. What are you thinking of the phone in yourself? How is it looking from your point of view? I think it's very interactive, very good, multi-platform, so everyone can join in. There's not an excuse not to be on there. No, no. And I mean, I've got 10,000 people at LinkedIn. We went live on LinkedIn last night. You'll probably only get it if you're actually, uh, you know, on at the time. But yeah. it will eventually, once people know it's there, I'm happy. Whether they choose to come and join us for a few minutes, for the whole program, it doesn't actually matter as long as they enjoy it. But this is something big, and the sooner people realize and join, the sooner it will blow up and they will be there before everyone else. Yes, yes, they'll have been and there. I remember have, being from the start. And, and what I love about it, Joe says, New Zealand, you're a long way from home. He's live on TikTok from New Zealand right now. Wow. I love it. They're all saying, Ryan shouting, doing the swanee with them. Good evening, young man. Where are you from, big man? Where is the swanee, Scotty? What's it like in there? The sway down I, upon the swanee river. I thought Dingley Dell. Dingley Dell, absolutely. Yes, indeed. And Unknown. The blue towers. I'm going to dash on, but hopefully we will have many more chats. Of course. I'm just checking in to see how you were today, and I'll be back later. Yes, and tell Wonky I'm asking for him. I will do. Absolutely, and dinky do. Take care, dinky do. See you, Lala. Thank you. There we are. That's it. Our wonderful guys there. Tremendous stuff. Now, 
What have we got here? Um, good evening, Scotty, says Andy McCrory. Dinky do, says Professor Monty. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Scotty, says Nino. Hello, Nino. Lovely to have you with us. Back by popular demand, says Scott. Scotty, what do you make of Boris? My father loves the last of the summer wine, Dad's Army, all the great British comedy. Here we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Ian Dunning Gospel. Just want to say to Scotty, the radio programme is brilliant and thank you to Scotty. Ian, how lovely to hear from you. See when we had yourself and your missus on that Saturday. That was a huge highlight. Scotty, because you are the Lord and the King of the Internet now. Top man, you are a top man, Ian, I think you. You are a top man yourself, Scotty. The topics tonight, I don't know what the viewers are going to phone in for. Well, Have you any idea of yourself, Scotty? Well, we never do. Somebody once said to me, Ian, uh, I love your show. You must do a tremendous amount of preparation. I said, I don't do a single thing. And they said, how not? I said, because you can't, because you don't know what's coming next. That is correct, Scotty. <laughs> it's the listeners that make your show, but also you control your show, Scotty, because you, and only you only, there is only one Scotty McClue at Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. And Ian, what I'm thinking and doing now, because this has been such a success from the off, I think what yeah. we might do is... Not go back on the radio, just do it on here. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, Scotty. You know? It travels all over the world, not just yes. European, Scotty. You are internationally known now. We're in Australia, sure New Zealand, America, huge in America. Yes, and you should be, Scotty, and you should be. You should be, you are lord of the airwaves, lord of the internet, there is no holding you back. Top and man. sooner or later, Scotty, we will be in outer space. We'll we be in outer everywhere. space. We'll be in the stratosphere and we'll have the Martians on for a chat. Oh, that would be a laugh, Scotty. Eh? We Martian people, eh? That would be a hoot. Can you imagine coming off that saying, did anybody understand a word of that? <laughs> Probably no, Scotty. And somebody but... phoning up and going, aye, I speak Martian, Scotty. Ah, they've not got a clue. They've gone up the swanny. Up the swanny with the mighty. Listen, I'll be back to enjoy your show. Have a good evening. Nay, bother. Thanks for joining us. In love to Gosport. I will do, pal. Think you do. Think you do, la. How fantastic. That's Ian. Ian is in Gosport down at Portsmouth. And his good lady and him came on one night. They love the YouTube stuff. It's all about the Scottish banter. I've got to go and make breakfast. Have to love you and leave you, Scotty. Dinky do from your fans, Stu. Stuart, thank you for joining us and for all your quality chat tonight. We all love an unknown colour. Lol, I speak Glaswegian. Follow us. As soon as you come on on TikTok, please follow. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. Very, very important. So TikTok. YouTube, Twitch, get following and join us on Facebook live as well and linked in. There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. Hope you're well, says Kevin. Hi, Scotty, says the wonderful Susan Shaw. My father loves the last of the summer wine, Dad's Army, and all the great British comedy. A TV stroke FM transmitter in North Yorkshire caught far last month. Took them weeks to get it up and running again. Professor Nupteed, I didn't hear that. Susan, are you all good, Sister Sam? Yes, great chat, guys. Andy Pandy comes to say, Scotty McClure is here to stay. Listen to me from 9 to 10. Let's all listen and have a gay day, says Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Now stay here, be your own boss, says Suzanne. I think, says Suzanne. There's nothing on TV these days. I don't ever watch it. Total rubbish. I have got several TV channels and for a pastime, I don't end up watching them, I end up scrolling through them. And there's usually nothing I end up watching. Need to get you back on the radio, says Mark, hashtag flow time. Well, Mark, if you have the chat tonight, do we just do it on the internet and let the radio go its own way? I don't know what you think. Dinky do, Scotty, we have to pay the BBC a license fee to watch that rubbish on TV. 
Scotty, glad to see you again. Love the Scott FM shows. Do you know what happened to Fat Bob? I don't, Graham. I never heard any more. You live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Yeah, Bob. There we go. We don't know who that is. Somebody very drunken. Peter Woods joined us. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Peter. I take it that's the Peter Wood. Yes, top, top, top Scottish accordionist. Top accordionist. Susan, we pay the licence to pay for the people who have been sued by the BBC. So who sued the BBC recently. There we are, says Jerry. I know what you mean, Jerry. You live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty's my second call. Oh, uh, Glenn. Scotty. Yes, Scotty. alien life forms again in there. It's what now? I think we're getting aliens on now, aren't we, these stupid idiots? We had a half-witted alien on there, but he was obviously very drunk. Definitely. Very I drunk. So he's help. away I doing the like, swanny, I take it. I just, you didn't hear too like, much? Yeah. Glenn. I'd just like to wish Boris all the my condolences anyway. Yes, condolences to Boris. Absolutely. He's just lost his mother. And that's yeah. a tough one for anyone. 21 years since I lost mine yesterday. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's we, always a tough one. Because we've only got one mother. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, bless him. So there we go. But the that's age. good of you, Glenn. Regardless of what people think of what's going on and all that, he's a human being just like everybody of else. Of course is, he yeah. is. Of course he is. And he's actually, he's a remarkably successful guy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you think he's been the mayor of London, he's mm. been uh, um, foreign secretary, and he's had another two or three top jobs in the government. I can't even remember them all. They were just I for a few... Just for a while, and then uh, he's been uh, a writer, a journalist for all the top papers, and he's then he's, uh, he's now Prime Minister. So you can't fault the lad from that point of view. Definitely not. Everybody's got the opportunity, haven't they? It's just taking yeah. it. You've just got to take it. You've got to take it when your moment arrives. He's American, apparently, Scotty, isn't he? Uh, yes, he is. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's also got Turkish bloodlines in him. Well, not this pure English or Scottish or whatever. No, never. Scottish there was a that. guy we telling won. me he was pure English. Partly when he did a spit into a cup and had it examined in the lab, he was 65% Argentinian. I bet. There you go. Uh, you, you these, these people are just not minded Scotty, aren't they? You see, I think what worries people about being pure English is because the English are actually a mongrel race. Because yeah. they've got the Normans, so a lot of French, the Romans, a lot of Italian, the Vikings, so a lot of Norwegian, you see? Yeah, we, we, and that we panics just... them, but you see, I don't understand. And it makes me, well, it doesn't make me laugh because it's so sad now. But when we've got immigrants coming in and these people are going, why are they allowed in when they're not? We're pure English. Yeah. I think, no, you're oh. not. Look at yourselves and it personally. The only thing you I think I mean? that's really, really sought after is either being a Scot or a Yorkshireman. Yeah, do you think so? Oh, I. Oh, I. Ever yeah. did love to be a Yorkshireman. I, I'm the only honorary Yorkshireman in the world. Yeah, you definitely are. Honorary. That's a big compliment to us, but to you and to us. You know, I used to tell my Yorkshire friends, I would say, you're great quality, you're quality, you guys, you know. And then one night, one of them, he had a few beers, he gives us a big hug, he says, that's quality, Scotty. I loved it when they used to say, that McGlue. McGlue. Yeah. That McGlue, they want to get him off that, you know. Shocking. He's only got one opinion, that's his own. That's his own. <laughs> so, um, they were, they were, like I said, they were best, best days, weren't they? Fantastic. They'll, they'll still come back anyway. They'll Kramer, come back. I'll tell the Glenn. Look, they'll come back. Look, Kramer, Scotty, what's this week? Radio uh, offer then? Well, no, two offers since we started but, this yeah. two weeks. Are you more comfortable on YouTube and uh, all formats? Than, I, th uh, I think we're now? better. I think we're better on here. TikTok, YouTube, um. LinkedIn has just joined us last night. Yeah. We've got about 10,000 on that. Why is it if it's not broke, don't fix it? If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, as one of the bosses said. And they didn't they listen to him. Some idiot got rid of it. It was interesting. They, partly they were all in a program meeting, and they discussed yeah. all the programs and said, well, if you like to change this and you like to change that. 
And then the chairman was sitting there and they got to Scotty McClue. What do we do with Scotty at night? He said, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. <laughs> I mean, if you could bottle you up, though. Oh. But you're all over the world, which you are now, anyway. Well, we're all over the world right now, Glenn. We are exactly. international. I'm, I'm just, like I said, it was brilliant to have you back when I first found you on Nations Radio and you know, through internet. You're amazing. I don't know how you did that. You're a very clever man. I've got to find you. We've got to find, us fans have got to find you, are not we? You've got to stick with what you like, I always say. Exactly. It's not the end of the world. Would you come back on TV then? Yeah, we'll do a bit more television once we get going. Let's get this yeah. built up first. An audience with Scotty. Yeah, audience with Scotty McClure. Yeah. Yes, get absolutely. Get Nicky Campbell back. Yeah, fantastic. Have you, have you had any reunions with... Uh, no, not for a while, actually, to be honest with you. We used to have these wonderful nights at Century when we invited the audience. Yeah. And they were massive. Mm. Massive, do you know what I mean? You couldn't get round everybody, that's a problem. You still wonder to play your Well, Phil, hey, we might do a bit of that yet, you know. You'd still roam, definitely. <laughs> we might do a bit of that. La I'm going to have to go and we'll get oh, shot down, you and I. Yeah, we'll they'll say, oh, it's all that, it's all him and that, that Yorkshireman and that Scotty McGlue, that's oh, it, really. Okay. That's all phoning. To, to have the privilege to talk to you anyway. It's always a privilege to talk to thee, la. And to you, Scotty. And dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, take it, he's a big man. Love the. Love that. Love the, love the, la. There we are, that's our Glenn, what a top man. You're allowed two calls tonight. Uh, so there we go. Was he not the Mayor of London? Yeah, that's what a census is yes. Good morning, Scotty. From Australia, Dinky Doo, says Frank. There we are. How fantastic is this? Our TikTokers, Yorkshire, should become independent like Scotland. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, Dom. Who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry. Lovely. Yeah. I just need a first oh, yeah. name, Jerry. I don't need to know any detail. I just need a oh, handle okay. for you. That's the handle for tonight. The handle for tonight. So what we need when callers come on, they just need to say, Scotty, it's Jimmy, it's Jerry, it's Mary, it's Anne. You know, and that, that'll do me. Good. Lovely that, so, isn't it? The question is tonight. The question is, well, so many questions tonight. Jerry, I've got something for you. Oh, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. old firm games usually end up with a bit of trouble somewhere, don't they? Yeah. There's always a bit of trouble. And they say, well, you see, it goes back, it's religious. Now, two things, as we said before, for starters, Celtic and Rangers both are born out of exactly the same religion. Right? Mm. Christian. So I think just to prove how religious it is, what we should do at an old firm derby is it starts with both a divine Presbyterian service and a mass, right? Now, you can't go into the ground after the service has started, so you would need to attend either one or both. Right. Right? So it starts off, so somebody says... Yeah, kickoffs two o'clock, one o'clock for the mass. And you can't get into the ground after the service has started, okay? Uh -huh. So then they have to go through, and then we'll see just how religious it is. Yeah. And I think that would be yeah. a very good test, and you could have an ecumenical part of the service. Sounds good, yeah. You know, yeah. When, when the archbishop says, we're joined by all our lovely brethren, the breakaways, you know, and then and then we all sing a, you know, an old Scottish hymn, you know, faith of our fathers, seek ye first the kingdom of God, um, the Lord's my shepherd, something like that, and then football starts. And then you think the fight after that? Well, after it, they think, hang on a minute, why would we want to? We've just had all that lovely service. Then we'd see how devout their Catholicism and their Presbyterianism is. Uh, 
Ipsil Bark, Villages. Yes. That's it. Here's a lovely one here. What about this? On TikTok, they need to bring back the mighty Thud Lanark. Glasgow needs a Thud Force again. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a guy one there. It's r live right on TikTok from Andrew. <laughs> and there's Joe right now. Who goes, what a terrible idea! I presume he's talking about what I've just said. Well, hello again. <laughs> Greetings from Holland. He's from Holland. Holland, yeah. So I'm oh, going to say to my Dutch that. friends, come into hoes wilt je koopen te hebben? I'm wearing my klompen. Oh. Yeah, what you're saying. <laughs> I've just spoken a bit of Dutch there, too. Schwer. Well, the question for me tonight. Yes. What's the preference? What's the preference on uh, the new news stations, which has come up recently in television and also radio? What would you prefer? Or what do you listen to most? Uh, what do I listen to? Well, you see, radio is my thing, actually, but I started and trained and succeeded in television. Mm -hmm. But the job came up in the radio, so I just took it because I didn't need to put my suit on every night. But what's the station you would put on first thing in the morning for the news? In the morning, if I'm absolutely honest with you, I have BBC Radio 4's Today on in the morning. All right. So it's not Radio Scotland. Uh, no, no, I have, I have, I have yeah. radio for today because I need to know what's going on generally across the country. But to be honest right. with you, uh, so much of official news, so-called, has been um, has 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 been pandemic stuff right. Right. for the last so, two years. So everybody's actually getting a bit pandemic weary. That's why I don't discuss it on right. any of my shows. Yeah. No. Have you been listening to um, the news station on GB News? GB News, yes, I have. And uh, uh, I sent Andrew Neil many congratulations when it opened. You can see right. it live on TikTok and YouTube in the videos. And you'll right. see my good wishes going out to Andrew and the team. But I Who's think now? Andrew's now resigned as the chairman. That's right. yeah. And uh, then they had Nigel Farage. Enjoy him. Now, whatever you think of Nigel Farage's politics, the man's an exceptionally good broadcaster, I think. That uh, is, yeah. Uh, you see? Have you enjoying his programme? Yes, I am. I, I do enjoy yeah. his programme, and I like the way that he has people on who don't necessarily agree with him. That's it. Now, I was watching over the weekend a guy by the name of Mark Doan, a good broadcaster, but uh, he had a really good programme on 9-11. Yeah. And, uh, right into depth. It was on, it must have been repeated late Saturday and Sunday. But really, really good. And then I caught a couple of glimpses of him. But that's the guy to look out for, Mark Dolan. Mark but Dolan. Farage comes over, Mark comes over well. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a look at that because I'm always on the lookout for good broadcasters. And as uh, we develop the phone in here, what we might do, Jerry, is just get one or two well known characters who we all like to ring us in. Mm -hmm. Hi, good. You know, if you go on YouTube, you'll hear Scotty McClure talks to David Heyman. And I was watching David tonight in Harris and Lewis. Yeah, I've heard, the, I've heard your interview. You know, you've heard that one. And he's yeah. an exceptional actor and a very nice man and a very interesting yeah. man. Last week, you mentioned uh, Emma Tom Thompson. Emma Thompson, yes, wonderful. I've met, met her uh, doing a film over here in the north side of the city a number of years ago with Robert Carlyle. Yes, Bobby Carlyle, yeah. Brilliant. She is just absolutely... Well, brilliant. you see, Emma was brought up, uh, you know, in a showbiz family. Emma's mother is Philida Law. And mm -hmm. Philida Law, you'll see, did you ever see Beatrix Potter's Miss Potter? Yeah. Yeah, well, she played uh, the mother of Mr. Warren. Oh, and Mr. Warren's sister. So Beatrix right. and Mr. Warren's sister got on very well. And Mr. Warren's mother was Philida Law, and that's Emma Thompson's mother, as far as I remember. Well, the story went that uh, when they were filming across the road at uh, the, the 
place where the mother and daughter and their friends were shouting while they were filming. Um, what's the, what was the movie she was in? Uh, she grew the, new, the, the nose. Yeah. Oh, yes, was that Nanny McPhee? Nanny McPhee, that's it. And they were shouting this while they were filming. So she sent her car over, and the guy spoke to me, and he says, listen, is that your kids? I says, no, no. I says, one. He says, no, Emma has invited them over to the set because we can't film because they're shouting in the background. So we went over and met them. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely brilliant. And then... That was at 10 o'clock in the morning. Do you know what? At 9 o'clock at night, she was still there signing autographs. Yeah. Lovely, lovely people. They're the genuine article, and that's why they're so successful. Do you remember uh, Tutti Frutti? Aye, aye, brilliant. Tutti Frutti, now, brilliant. do you remember on Nation Radio, we used to have the lovely accordionist, Linda? Right. Linda yep. was from Tutti Frutti. Was she? Yeah, she was the accordionist right. on Tutti Frutti. I, was Eddie Reader on that? No, no, that was another one. No, it? that was another one. Uh, no, no, it was Emma one. Thompson, Robbie Coltrane, Richard Wilson. Right. Played the agent, uh, Eddie Clockerty. Mr. Clockerty. Mr. Clockerty. Hello, is Eddie. Eddie here. Eddie Clockerty. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, she would shout, Mr. Clockerty, I'm going to get lost. I love these characters. <laughs> got it DVD. Jerry, I'm going to have to dash, but a joy to Brilliant. hear from you. And Brilliant. Dinky do, sir. Dinky do. Dinky do, our Jerry. There's our Jerry on for the chat. Yeah. How amazing is that? Fantastic. Uh, hello, everyday, says Kareem. Should single mothers pay a double bed tax? Oh, Professor Numpteed. Kareem Glenn was the first on the phones tonight. I'm sure Emma Thompson has a holiday home. So there we are, uh, in Argyle, spent the lockdown over here. Well, who knows? Everybody's got to their life. Holy moly, dinky-doo, it's Scotty McClue. Dinky-doo, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for joining us on the TikTok. Absolutely incredible tonight. Guys, we've got about uh, another 18 minutes of the phone in. Feel free to get to the telephones. I'll give you some more chat. There we are. What have we got here? Look. Uh, all that stuff for you. Oh, what about this? There we are. Something coming up here. Live fun in, guys. Do you get it there with YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How are you? Ah, Kareem, what a joy. Hello, now, you me. got beaten to the post tonight. I deliberately didn't phone first. Uh huh. I've had a lot of uh, my combi boiler started to leak. Oh, no. So there was a wee accident in the house, in my new house. Oh, no. <laughs> so I've had not a very good day. Just one Not a good day. Other. Will you be able to get some insurance on it? Or? Well, my neighbour's a gas engineer, and he came in, and he had a look at it. So it stopped leaking for now. There is a damp patch on my ceiling. Right. Uh, but I'll I paint over that in the coming weeks. Let it dry I'm up. I'm going to get the part and fit it. Good, good. Oh. I'm sorry oh, to hear oh, that, Kareem. <laughs> no, no, when these things go wrong, it's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad it's happened now and not in the midst of the winter because I, I, I don't have any hot water or heating on at the moment, so it's not too bad. Uh, so it's okay. Kareem, <laughs> give me a little bit of advice here. Uh, yeah. You know the big phone-ins are to be Friday, Saturday. Yes. Well, I'm just wondering, should we keep the pop-ups going during the week, do you think? I think the pop-ups are good. Um, I think it gives uh, maybe not your, your regulars a chance to get on. and oh, Maybe it's the other way around. When it's the weekend, you've got a lot of people up that are staying up later. Um, they're having a little drink. Ah, oh, there's Scotty. Let's give wee Scotty a phone. But I think there's a lot of people, Scotty, that just like to listen to you in the background. Sometimes you, you get know? this. I remember saying to somebody about phone calls. And he said, yeah. don't worry, don't think because people don't phone, they're not listening. He said, yeah. you know, people I'm, just like the chat. Yeah, there's a lot of shy people. And I mean, like, normally when I call you first, I've now put you on the big screen on the TV, and I just enjoy listening to everybody talking, and then I'll read the comments, and it's just nice to relax and unwind. So Yeah, just um, chill. 
And I've said this to people about the YouTube channel. Um, if you don't want to watch my YouTubes, put them on and walk away and do your housework and listen through your speakers. Have them on the background. Absolutely. Yeah, because you can do all that. Now, you know yourself, Kareem, and the youngsters have all got them. These portable speakers, you can do it on oh, your yeah. phone. You can have it yeah. booming out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and even in their earbuds or... There's yep. so many ways now we can Pop your earbuds in and just walk away and get on with your hoovering. Yes. But I think you've got the times right, Scotty. Like during the week, I think it was if it was later, I think people were going to their beds. Folk are going to their beds nowadays, time. Kareem. Folk are working too hard. Folk are up early in the morning. You'll probably be up at five, six in the morning. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, I'm yep. usually up I'm usually up by six. And sometimes we do a broadcast on TikTok in the mornings. Wow, right, okay. You know, so we've had what we call the early bird. Yes. And yes. and sometimes it's mobbed because you've got America going to bed late. Yes, and they'll be all tuning in. Yeah, so they come on. So at six in the morning, you get America going, Scotty, what are you doing? It's three in the morning. <laughs> well, I've just gone to my oh. bed. That's fantastic. But no, I think you've got the times right as well. And I think you've got a lot of people contributing. And yep, it's, it's going well. It will grow and it will continue to grow. It will but grow, Kareem. And I'll tell you for why. I think we've got to just keep the faith. But I'll tell you for why. Because for some strange reason, we're attracting the intelligentsia. Uh -huh. So we're getting a good, proper chat rather than just some halfway, you know, phoning up and shouting yeah. down the phone. Hi. Yeah. You know, we get maybe a couple of drunks a night. Yes. You know, but so yeah, I what? I think you're always going to get that, Scotty. Yeah. Um, you're always going to get the idea to come on and, oh, oh listen to my voice, and they're, they're shouting, cursing, whatever. Well, you see, the um, problem with these people is they don't have the confidence to yeah. to handle, they're not mature enough in their mind to handle yeah. the, the, the live stream. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Now, it's I've noticed that you are... Uh, you always were, but you're very much at home on 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 the phone in. Oh, thank you. I remember my first time phoning you, Scotty, and I think I said to you, I said, I'm actually I'm actually a wee bit nervous. And yes. You, you said, don't be, and from then on... I've, I've no, don't okay. be, because you're only <laughs> talking to me, so it doesn't matter. You know, and the rest <laughs> of the world, of course. Hey, listen, I, I know a lot of people are listening, and the, you know, I, I do think we give a lot of people a lot of good advice, a lot of hope, something to look forward yeah. to. There's people, as you've spoke before, people suffer depression. I just think the show covers so many topics. So many people can bring anything up, and it will relate to some to somebody out there. Something will all yes. relate to something, yeah. uh, and it's it's really nice. It's heartwarming. It's just what we need. It's tremendous, Kareem, and uh, I'm just so chuffed. I couldn't believe, I mean, obviously you're taking a chance just throwing something like this up and the phone started going right away. Yeah, yeah. And it will continue to grow, Scotty. Uh, with holidays coming up as well, people yeah. being off. And there's so much, this, but I think, actually well done to you, Scotty, as well, because a man, um, and I'm not saying you're, you're elderly, but a man, a lot of people your age would be put off with technology. And I, I don't know how you do it because you know more than me setting all these things up. Kareem, and, I, I love the technology. I just wish, uh, you know, I had another 40 years in me with it. I just love the technology. I mean, you know, I, I ask my public to forgive me for the fact that I'm knocking on a wee bit now. But, you know, I just love the technology and I think we might as well take advantage of it. Scotty, you don't look elderly at all. I think you look very young for your age um, and there'll be plenty more years to come. Plenty more years. I just think what the technology will be within the next five to ten years. Oh, tremendous. So, we'll soon be able to just shout out the window. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be holograms coming up into your living room or, you know, <laughs> just all these things. I mean, if you look at the, the, the phones just now, uh, not to name the, 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 the make, but the, the flip phones now, yeah. you know, you can have it as a phone or open it up like a wee mini iPad. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, all that's going to just absolutely blossom. And as I said to you, you know, you maybe heard me say this before, 
But as I say to some of the mainstream television and radio companies when they go, well, we tend to concentrate on our core business, I say, well, start getting into all the technology, otherwise someday you'll wake up and your core business won't be there. Yeah, yeah. Be you know, the sort. technology will just have trounced it, just swallowed it up. I mean, already the youngsters, why would they want to listen to a radio presenter when they can get their own music off there and mix it off their, their, their sites, you know? Uh, absolutely. See, yeah. we're offering something different, Kareem. No radio station's offering what Scotty McClue's phone in's offering the people right now. No, no. No television no, station is doing this either. And I have mentioned a couple of times, I think one hour on a Friday night on a mainstream television station, live, take the calls, do what we're doing right now. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that would be very interesting. You know, yeah. I think you'd have a lot of interesting characters as well, and it'd be a, a newer generation, new people coming yes. in. Yes. Um, but I, I have my fingers crossed. That would be very, that would be very good. But remember, very... Kareem, you were there right at the start. <laughs> and I'll be there today, Scotty. Absolutely. Bless you. And dinky do so. Speak to you tomorrow. Have a good I night. I hope so. Bye Thanks, bye. Kareem. Ta -la. There we are. What a fine fellow. That's our Kareem. Amazing. Used to call on Nation Radio, wonderful stuff. There we go. Now, what do we got? Age is just a number, Scotty. Absolutely, Angela. Uh, thank you very much. I love you. <laughs> Trump will be back in 2024 and will shock the world. Biggest political comeback ever. I actually believe there's a lot of truth in that. I think the Donald will be back with us soon. Definitely. Who have we got here? Lots and lots of beautiful people. Trump, how are you, my friend? Scotty Clickstar, how lovely to have you with us. What happened to the checkered bonnet? Do you mean this one, Angela? The checkered bonnet is here. It is with us. It is well. Scotty McClure, dinky do. And a spare badge at the back in case the other one breaks down. <laughs> Scotty McClure says dinky do to you. How fantastic is that? And we'll get the merch out there once we grow. Right, let's see what you lot are saying on the chat. Um, Glenn was first on the phones tonight. There we are. Dinky do the new Scotty. Eddie Doyle down in Newmarket. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, I say. Dinky do. Watching while restringing my guitar for a gig on Saturdays is Neil. Quite a boring job, but it helps when watching your good self. It's never boring, Neil. It's just that you know what needs to be done. It's a great skill. Suzanne, yes, absolutely. Uh, yes, the pop-up's coming. There's nothing on TV or radio. I'd be lost without you now, Scotty. Suzanne, you're such an angel. You should come on for a wee chat. Is that right, Jerry? Nice. Lovely person, Emma Thompson, yes, down to earth. Um, when in the city of Glasgow... She speaks Glaswegian. Oops, Kareem, elderly. Oh, Scotty. No, no, I know elderly me. <laughs> I think it's the beard. I'm only 28. I just had a very tough paper round. She talks highly of her mum and sister, and the question is, and um, so there we are. Fantastic. Well, we're not going to all that, Jerry. People's private business. Uh, so that's that. Good night, Suzanne, said the wonderful Susan Shaw. Yes, we've got another five minutes, everybody. What have we got here? Followers on TikTok, guys. Uh, Clickster says, Scotty, love our little chats. How are you, my man? I'm sorry I wasn't here. I went to see my nan. Clickster, you're a poet. We love you going to see your nan. That's probably even more important than watching Scotty McClue. And very few things are. But if it's to do with your nan, your ma, your da, Trump 2024. There we are. Caught you later tonight. Good show. Kulelio. I thank you. Do you support the thistle, Scotty? When you say the thistle, do you mean the thistle of Scotland? Do you mean this thistle here behind me, if I move? That thistle? Or do you mean the Partick thistle? Because I remember going to see Partick thistle play one day, and... Uh, I said to a policeman, I said, how do I get to Fir Hill from here? He said, just follow the crowd. I ended up in the superstore at Summerstone. 
You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, Mr. Nobody. Somebody a wee bit uncertain trying out the line. Probably a radio station trying to see if the lines are jammed. There we are. Dinky do. Thank you, Jerry. There we are. Fantastic. Do you watch Grand Design? No, I haven't actually. Dinky do says scenic music. So there we are. Did Boris lose his mother today? Did Kulelio? Yes, bless him. And because uh, he was very close to his mother. And we only get one mother. It's so important. There we are. Whose nickname is the Jags? Kulelio. That would be the Partick Thistle. Everywhere we go. Oh, everywhere we go. Oh, people want to know. There we are. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. That's what it's all about. Night, night, Susan. Sleep well, says the sand. Good night, Susan. Indeed. Now, that's that stuff, right? I'll not say that one. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, who's the handsome chap behind you, Brad? Uh, the handsome chap behind me. You'll have to guess. That's Lord Reith the Labrador. And he is handsome. There we are. Brad, you mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. That's what I tell you. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, Scotty, it's me, myself. Ah, me. Professor Numpty, where have you been tonight? I've been sitting listening to the show. What do you think? Are you enjoying it? Absolutely. The phones have been buzzing all night. You know, I didn't want to interrupt the, the, the stream. Phones are busy tonight, dinky-do. Aye. Now, did you read my message earlier about the transmitter in North Yorkshire? I believe it was hit by lightning. Is that right? Ago. Oh, is that right? And I didn't went, know about that. Everybody in North Yorkshire lost their, their television and their FM radios. Oh, my goodness um, me. See, where I am, Scotty, I got all the different regional news. I got the Time Tees, I got the Border. Clever I man. Canada, yes, you will. TV. You'll get the lot down there because you're right on the cusp. And in fact, border television, I think, were big in eye mouth. Well, absolutely, because it's part of the borders. But, you know, Carlyle shut down and they now bring you the, the, the television news for the, 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 what do you call it? Yeah, but I think they've got a base. They've got a base in Carlyle, the hub. Aye, but it's the Time Tees newscasters that does the, the border news. Is it? Uh, right. Classic, ah, right. Excellent stuff. Well, we used to have Border was a big station. It was a great station, that. But it all changed a few years ago, Scotty. Yeah. It's gone now. The building's gone at, uh, at Harrowby Hill. But they've kept the name, Scotty. You still get Border News. ITV you know? Border News. Very good. It's a lovely yeah. part of the world down there. Lovely yeah. part. The whole, the, yeah. This whole country, yeah. Numpty Heat, as you know, is so beautiful. Absolutely. Now that transmitter, uh, it was on the news just the other week there, that had been broken down for four weeks and there were still 100,000 people without their telly or their FM radio. Oh, for goodness sake. They had to put up a temporary in. Oh, my goodness. Listen, Numpty, I'm going to have to go. We're running out of time. Absolutely, Scotty. A dinky do, la la. Right, we are. That's our numpty. Now, I'm going to have to say cheerio to our TikTokers. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. And Dinky Doo, Pelshire is stunning. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs>